kiddos. Welcome back to Busy Book Club. I'm Miss Sunny and I'm here with my very good friend, Forrest. Hi, Forrest. Thanks for coming. Hello, everyone. We are reading a very special book today. It is called Exploring Emotions, A Mindfulness Guide to Understanding Feelings. Interesting. Have you read this book before? Yeah, by myself. Did you like it? Pretty good. Do you think the book club will like it? I think so. I think so too. This book is written by Paul Christellis and illustrated by Elisa Paganelli. Hmm. What do you see on the front of this book? Uh, somebody angry, nervous, sad, and happy. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely think this book is going to be about feelings. Feelings. Because emotions means feelings. That's right, emotions is another word for feelings. All right, here we go, busy book club. Everyone notices the weather outside, don't they? Have a look now. Is it sunny or cloudy? Rainy or dry? Windy or calm? It's or something else? It's snowy and sunny in our yeah. area. That's right. It's very sunny outside and it's also very snowy. But did you realize that weather also happens inside you? In fact, if you take a look, you'll feel it right now. We call this inner weather emotions. And just like the weather outside, emotions are completely natural. Yeah. Today is track and field day at school. The weather outside is warm and sunny, but for many children, it feels very different. Here's Mateo. He's not feeling warm and sunny at all. When we look at Mateo's face, what can we assume he's feeling? Nervous. Hmm. Inside, Mateo is experiencing a different kind of weather. For him, running in a race makes him feel very nervous. It's like watching a storm approaching. It can be scary. Yeah. Makes sense. And here's Sally, who is also about to run in the race. Their inner weather is different from Mateo's. Can you tell which emotion they are experiencing? Sally enjoys competing. They are feeling... Excited. That's right. Excitement. And can't wait for the race to start. Pause button. How would you describe Sally's weather? When you are about to run in a race, what's your weather like? Just like Mateo's. Your weather would be like Mateo's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My weather would be a mix between Sally's and Mateo's. Yeah. How about you at home, kiddos? How do you feel when you're running a race? Over at the jump rope race, Manisha has tripped just before the finish line. She is feeling really angry with herself. She could have won if she'd been more careful. Manisha feels badly because she really wanted to win and then she made a mistake. Yeah. I hear her saying, how could I be so stupid? But Manisha, you are not stupid for making a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. And that doesn't make us stupid or wrong. That yeah. just makes us normal humans. Yeah. Poor Manisha. Pause button. Anger can feel like a burning hot sun. When you feel angry, where in your body do you feel the burning? Your belly? Your head? Somewhere else? Yeah. My throat. For me, my head and a mix between my body mm -hmm. and my hands. Wow, your hands. And this is Caleb. Their ankle is broken, so they can't participate in any sport today. The sadness and disappointment they feel are like a gray, drizzly day that seems to last forever. Yeah, he looks at, he, he's looking at everybody do theirs, but he can't do it. Yeah. 
Not being able to join in is very lonely and sad. Yeah. Tom is sitting close to Caleb, but there are no rain clouds over him. He has just completed three events in a row, and now he's feeling relief, as well as some achy muscles. For him, relief is like a cool breeze on a hot day. Pun, pun intended. <laughs> Later in the day, the weather is changing, and guess what? Just like the weather, the children's emotions are changing too. Hmm. Mateo was nervous, but now he's finished his race and is eating a big bowl of chocolate ice cream. Pause button. Can you tell what Mateo is feeling now? When you eat something delicious, what feelings do you experience? What do you think Mateo is feeling? What weather? Sunny with a cool breeze. Nice. Cool, cool breeze. Sally's excitement has changed too. They won their race, but now they're at the hospital visiting their sick grandma. They feel worried and a little sad. I think those are normal feelings to feel when we're visiting a loved one in the hospital. Yeah. Meanwhile, Manisha is no longer angry with herself. She was awarded a medal for perseverance, and now she's feeling proud. Nice. For me, proud feels like a beautiful sunrise. How about you? Same for me. No more drizzle for Caleb. Their cast has been removed, and now they're feeling happy. Looks like a rainbow has come out. Yeah, after all this, after all the rain. And Tom is back home now with nothing to do. Relief has turned to boredom. Cloudy. Cloudy. Changes in our inner weather happen all the time. It's natural and normal. Sometimes the weather feels pleasant. When we feel happy, relieved, or excited, for example. And sometimes it feels unpleasant. Like when we feel anger, sadness, or frustration. The good news is, we don't have to worry about getting stuck with unpleasant emotions. Because these won't last forever. Perhaps you were feeling sad this morning, but this afternoon, who knows? Just because we have one moment of anger or sadness doesn't mean that that unpleasant feeling will last. Yeah. And often those unpleasant feelings help us to appreciate the pleasant ones. Too true. We can't predict how we will feel later. And we can't always change our emotions while we are feeling them. But we can learn to be with these emotions as we feel them. We can accept them just as they are. Hello, nervous feeling in my belly. You feel uncomfortable, but I know you won't stay long. I know you are here, sadness. It's okay because I know you are just a feeling and you will pass. Even when we don't think sadness will pass, we do get breaks from it. Yeah. Right now, I'm not feeling anything in particular, and that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Pause button. Take a moment to be with what you are feeling right now. How is your inner weather? Sunny, gloomy, stormy, or perhaps there's a lot going on and you don't feel very much. That's fine too. How about you, Forrest? Mine has a bit of snow. It's very sunny, but kind of blinding. That's how your inner weather is? Yeah. Wow. My inner weather is a calm, cool day. Sometimes when weather is very stormy, it feels as if you might get blown away by the strong winds. Anger or nervousness can feel like powerful storms. True. And both anger and nervousness come from fear. Yeah. 
When you're in a storm of emotions, try naming the emotion you are experiencing. When you name what you are feeling, the storm often calms down a little and doesn't feel so powerful. This is anger I'm feeling. Here's that nervous feeling again. You know what I like to do? I like to tell people about my feeling, not just name it for myself. That really helps me when someone else notices my weather. Yeah. So take the time to check your personal weather report every day. And remember that we all experience many kinds of weather. Our friends, families, teachers and pets all have sunny moments, stormy moments, and not feeling very much at all moments. Hello weather, how are you today? Enjoy the pleasant feelings when they are present and remember that the unpleasant ones will pass. And that it's okay to ask for help with unpleasant feelings. Yeah, that looks like the same person from I'm Feeling Angry, that book. Oh. Notes for parents and teachers. Here are a few mindfulness exercises and suggestions to add to children's mindfulness toolkits. These are simple, effective, and fun to do. I encourage you, as parents watching, to pause this screen and go ahead and read these ideas because we are going to incorporate a few into our family as well. Thanks so much, Busy Book Club. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. That really helps me make more and more quality videos for you and your children. I'm so glad you join us. Thank you, and I'll see you next, next time. time. Peace.